Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 420. The idiom today is to jump on the bandwagon. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone or something jumps on a bandwagon, he, she, or it takes advantage of a good opportunity to make money, uh, especially something that is hot or at the moment it's a craze. It's a craze right now. People see other people making money at it and they think, oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do the same thing. And then they kind of just go and jump on the bandwagon. Or it has the second meaning too. It just means to join a recent popular trend that other people are doing this new craze or something like that. And they say, oh, that looks like fun. I think I'll do that too. Then they could jump on the bandwagon that way as well. So you got two ways to jump on the bandwagon. All right, let's continue. The origin of this phrase dates back to the mid 1800s. Uh, in former times, a bandwagon was a horse drawn wagon with an area or platform behind it, usually for a group of musicians that was often at the front or leading the circus parades. That's how it started. It was mostly used for circuses to begin with. And, you know, this would be in the front of the circus, you know, with the music playing. All right. In 1848, a well-known clown named Dan Rice uh, decided to use his bandwagon uh, to bring politicians around uh, a town while playing music. This attracted the people of the town to follow to the area where the campaign speeches would be given. So this is actually how it kind of got started. This was the bandwagon they were talking about. Okay. Uh, this phrase became more popularized. So it was already in existence, but it became more popularized due to the fact that it was mentioned by Teddy Roosevelt in a quote. Uh, here it is. When I once become sure of one majority, they tumbled over, like they were jumping over each other, or, uh, each other to get aboard the bandwagon. So he didn't actually say jump, uh, jump on the bandwagon, but get aboard the bandwagon. But he helped to popularize this sort of phrase even more. Okay, and we have several uses here to show just how we would use it today. Uh, when the housing market was booming and some people started to make money by flipping houses, many, uh, many others jumped on the bandwagon. And to flip a house, like, uh, if you have a period, and I've seen this, I've seen this in the U.S., I've seen this in other countries happen where the market is hot and prices of real estate are rising, and you might have a period of a few years where this is happening. If you're smart, if you get in early... You could buy a house, hold, either hold on to it or rent it out, and it will still appreciate as you're doing it, and then you resell it, and it's an easy way to make money. And if some people see other people making money this way, they all, will often jump on the bandwagon. That's what they mean. Again, they think, ooh, that's a good, easy way to make money. Let me do the same thing. Um, all right, here, another one. I have a lot of examples I know here in Taiwan. In Taiwan, years ago, 7-Eleven started a campaign to give away Hello Kitty magnets uh, by awarding points uh, for sale. So like if, if you spent so much money, I think it was close to about like 250 in US dollars. If you spent that much at once at 7-Eleven, they gave you some points and eventually got all the magnets and they had a lot of magnets you could collect. And it was a big hit, a lot of people. So a lot of people started all just going to the 7-Eleven instead of the other convenience stores. So the other convenience stores were actually kind of losing money. This campaign worked very well for 7-Eleven. So 7-Eleven started a campaign to give away Hello Kitty magnets by awarding points of sales above a certain amount. The campaign was so successful, the other convenience stores jumped on the bandwagon and did similar campaign. Yeah, they all copied the same sort of idea after that, you know, just to keep up with it. So they all jumped on the bandwagon to encourage more sales. If they were giving away some sort of either a little toy or something uh, that was popular enough, people would, you know, go for this. Okay, the last one, I'm just mentioning a number of crazes. These were some popular ones in Taiwan. Like, I remember there was a yoga craze for a while, so a lot of people started doing yoga, and then, you know, other people seen that, and it became something popular, and other people jumped on the bandwagon, did the same thing. A health, a health craze, kind of 
Kind of like um, when health clubs first came to Taiwan, it was very popular. Most of these are kind of like fad where, you know, now they're not as big. But at one time there was, and people were jumping on the bandwagon. Cycling, you know, bicycling uh, around. You know, everybody was buying bikes for exercise. Uh, and other people seeing that, and they thought, that's fun. That's the thing to do. So they jumped on the bandwagon as well. Remember you know, several years back, uh, about six, seven, eight years ago, the Wii, it was the Wii craze, so everybody was buying the Wii machine. All of these things could be used as you're jumping on the bandwagon. Whatever craze there is in, in any country, a lot of people start doing it, and other people say, oh, that's fun, I think I'll do that too. Uh, yeah, let me, let's get into that. So then you jump on the bandwagon. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.